from the outside, Coach, it looks like your team is ready and really improved from last year. I wonder what you think. You know, I think we'll find out, man, on September 10th and beyond, you know. Um, I know before we start playing preseason games, um, everybody's tone wasn't, wasn't like that. So um, I don't read too much into it when it's, when it's not supportive. I don't read too much into it when they're, when they're crowning us. The, the important thing is that, that we work continually, daily, to, to get better individually and collectively, and that's what I've seen from this group, and that's why I'm excited about them. Well, I mean, this is your 17th team, as I keep mentioning here. Uh, is there anything that you're seeing that is similar to other years at this time where it turned out to be an excellent season, Coach Talman? I, I just like the, the collective fearlessness of the group. Um, they're not scared, and 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 that's that's a major ingredient I think of of really good teams. Man, you got to be fearless. Um, what you're pursuing is rare air, and, and so you can't be bashful about the pursuit of it or fearful. And and I hadn't sensed fear in this group at any step of the process to this point, and and that's exciting to me. What's the metric of fearlessness? How do you measure that? Just just their willingness to compete. Um, their pursuit of victory as opposed to as opposed to the fear of failure um, you know we we got a challenging camp we do so thoughtfully we put them in competitive circumstances that's the only way to get to know them that's the only way for them to get to know themselves uh, we feel like that tees them up for preseason ball and then that's thus tees them up for regular season ball and I just like the spirit, the competitive spirit of this group. Is that the sparring that you were referring to the other day, other than just playing them, <laughs> sparring? Yeah, the boxing analogy, yep, that's it. Where'd you get that one? Where'd that one come from? Did you just make that yeah. up on the on the podium, Mike? No, no, I'm sure I probably heard it somewhere before. <laughs> I just I just can't remember, and I would love to cite my source if I could remember where I heard it, but I can't. But, I can't. but that just slipped out. Yeah, you got to spar if you're going to box, and, and your team is definitely full of sparring. Your quarterback, five drives, all of them wind up in touchdowns. Again, I know it is preseason, but what can you take out of Kenny Pickett's summer, Coach? I, I think I think he individually is probably a good representative of what I've been talking about. Man, the dude comes to compete every day. Um, he loves it. Um, he, he's getting better. Um, he's getting more comfortable in, in his shoes in terms of wearing the informal responsibility that comes with being him. And we all kind of know what that is, man. The quarterback is the is the heartbeat of a unit. It's, it's, he's the heartbeat of a team, and 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 he's been that before. Um, but it's the first time at this level, and I think he's more comfortable in those shoes. And and I think there's more fluidity in his in his play uh, because of all of the above. What about his vocal aspect of his game with his teammates? What what can you reveal there for me, Mike Tomlin? Um, he, he is very vocal, um, emotional, um, fiery, um, and, and it's been fun to kind of watch, watch that natural component of him come out. Um, you know, I, I'm cheating because – of the proximity uh, to his university, and so <laughs> I, I knew that about him. Uh, but it's cool to see it, see that come out of him at the professional level. Have you counseled him on that front? Say, hey, let's 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 see it. Did, did you have to counsel you, him? I guess is the you know. Um, I, I think it has to be organic. But obviously, he and I spent a lot of time together talking about a lot of things. You know, tangible, formal things, intangible things relative to. His position in mind, there's a lot of similarities at times between our roles. You know, we both get too much credit um, and when things are going well, and we both better be ready to absorb negativity when things aren't. Um, and, and so, you know, there's a lot for he and I to talk about. Well, I just think uh, his improvement or the sense of him being improved is, um, I guess, evidenced by the fact no one's talking about his hands anymore. Coach, you notice that? Nobody's talking about his hands anymore? <laughs> you know, that that's... That's just that draft. That's just that draft fodder. Sometimes that mm-hmm. that takes on a life of its own. Mm. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.